of how something is being handled or can be handled. Uh, John Palumbo and Rick Jacobs will find whoever it is in the U.S. government or the KIW staff uh, to handle a quick uh, single issue, a single problem uh, resolution. But otherwise, we assume that you'll focus on matters which uh, you would bring up in a more uh, complete and fully uh, discussed fashion uh, before we reconvene after lunch. Uh, there will be a luncheon in your honor today, as is shown on the schedule, uh, and that will be uh, working fall. Uh, the impression is that this will be a most exciting show, uh, despite the rumors of high prices and uh, difficult accommodations. Uh, millions and millions of Americans have gotten excited about this fair. Uh, the people of Knoxville are working by the tens of thousands to uh, have everything in readiness for it, and I'm very, very optimistic about its success. Uh, all of you, uh, again, we thank you very, very much for your activity and participation. I will myself be shortly finishing up my activities in an official capacity connected with the fire. Uh, we have found a procedure under which there can be a relatively <coughs> instantaneous uh, transfer uh, and not go through the long and agonized gap uh, which had been previously uh, holding things up uh, of a long Senate confirmation process for a successor. I have been advised nationwide uh, telecommunication and microwave system for one of the largest companies in the United States and for that matter the world. Uh, so the pressure of the job, uh, preparatory to the opening of the fair and to stay on duty until a success of the fair and all of the loose ends are wrapped up tight, uh, then the Secretary of Commerce will delegate, he will go under the strange title of United States Commissioner General Delegate. That means when the FBI check is completed, and for a prominent and distinguished businessman, uh, such as the, uh, my successor will be, in all probability, uh, and then in any foreign country, uh, or every single bank note he's ever signed in the United States, a title changes, the United States Commissioner General designate. Uh, then when the, while I am officially not aware of any appointment, uh, the newspapers have speculated that a guest, a Robert's guest, or hotel guest, uh, enjoyed the struggle. Uh, it's been an extremely great pleasure uh, for me to be working with you during the past 20 months, uh, beginning with uh, last uh, few years ago. Uh, it's been an exciting, pleasant, and interesting one. Uh, and so I look forward to an exciting six months uh, as we move forward. Uh, obviously, if there's anything that I would all the fun to do to help my successor or anyone other of you here, uh, including recreation r and &R. If your budget won't stand uh, the appropriate uh, respite period, uh, there are other budgets around that will. Uh, so uh, we look forward to a magnificent playoff, and we do thank you on behalf of the United States government for the extraordinary uh, outpouring of energy and effort and talent uh, which has gone into the preparations of your committee. There are quite a number of administrative matters. Uh, KIEE, -E, 1982 World's Fair, that uh, we want to express officially to this group, as we have done so unofficially, the appreciation for the yeoman service that uh, Mr. Frazier has provided uh, as U.S. Commissioner General. And I think many of you, at least, uh, if not all of you, have an appreciation for one who has taken on had taken on this assignment uh, while uh, attempting to continue to run rather large operations as Charles referred to and has provided a tremendous amount of uh, leadership and uh, a tremendous amount of time on behalf of this project. We regret the, um, that the pressures that built to the point where he uh, feels it necessary to make the change and we and have uh, solicited from him a promise that uh, the, the numbers keep varying from 15 to 20 to 25, but at minimum 15, with absolutely no maximum number of times that he will visit this World's Fair during during six months. And I 
and in spite of all the problems with accommodations, I feel that, uh, that one way or other those will be resolved and the hospitality will be shown. So uh, we want to express those uh, thoughts uh, uh, to Mr. Frazier on behalf of the World's Fair and, uh, and, and plan to have him back here many, many times. So appreciate that. We will, as we head toward the, uh, we have used the phrase many times, uh, we're heading into the home stretch. Now we started about a year and a half ago calling it the home stretch as we would re-gear to what was going on. And I don't know what, the, what additional phrase you can use as you move to the last 12 days other than uh, the last uh, uh, bit of panic as you get to the home stretch, I guess. It's interesting as particularly those of you who've been involved in events like this in the past that as the, not the days go, grow shorter, uh, the hours are limited by 24 each in those days and the time spent uh, grows longer and using just about all of those 24 hours that you get quite a kind of, kind of an interesting phenomenon that get, begins to develop a combination of nervousness on the parts of an awful lot of people that is only overcome by excitement. I think that uh, uh, anytime we get involved in working around in the staff and everything the best thing best therapy for me is to take five minutes or 20 minutes or whatever and to go out on the site, and particularly in the international area, and see what's coming together in terms of the, uh, the, of the pavilions, of the shows that's going to be in there, and to, be, to begin to get a feel for what the World's Fair is itself is. So if we, I have to tell myself, as we try to tell others, to let's focus on that product that we're working for on May 1st. And I think that any of the excitement will overcome the nervousness, and we will be ready, and you will uh, hear specific reports on this later on. Uh, it's an interesting and fun time, and I think we can look forward to a lot of hard work in the next 12 days and a lot of hard work in the 184 that follow that, but for the same token, I think we'll uh, be able to take some time to enjoy this product that uh, we've been involved in for the only correction I would make to the statement that Mr. Fraser made is for more than six years involved in the, uh, in the activities leading up to uh, the launching of the uh, uh, of the World's Fair baby after a rather long gestation period on May 1 and 12 days from now. We'd like to welcome you back to Knoxville. Uh, some of you are here permanently. We do have, uh, uh, the, your numbers have continued to increase as time has gone on and I think that's uh, to the advantage of everyone here. Um, the newest representative, Mr. Jorge Boza, is Commissioner General of uh, Peru. Uh, a, they rapidly become an Oxvillian, as many of you have, and they're rapidly working to make sure that their exciting presentation is ready on, uh, on May 1. I think also, Mr. Frazier, that uh, uh, the Honorable Lu Feng Chung is here for the first time as the Commissioner General of the uh, Chinese section, and uh, I know that we all be glad to all join in welcoming him uh, to this particular Would session. Would you please stand so that we might give you a... housekeeping items that I'll cover just briefly and most of the details of what we'll be covering will come on later. I just wanted to mention a few things. Uh, you have in front of you or in your stack of materials, so don't let them get away, um, first regarding season passes for the families of the Commissioner General and Deputy Commissioner General. Hopefully those forms are very clear and all you have to do is fill those out and uh, you can receive those at the Operations Center. Uh, that's for the Deputy Commissioner and the Commissioner uh, General's family uh, for the World's Fair. This is an item that has been discussed. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Uh, United States Commissioner, uh, Mr. Robert, to let us open steering committee session this afternoon because we have to hear much about the work Questions of the of the <coughs> pavilions, and after hearing from you, Mr. Roberts, we might discuss in our steering committee meeting more food play. So, 
I heard, I received a cable from Mr. Powell's La, at the end of last month to introduce a revision of the draft agenda as follows. We shall meet this afternoon from 2 o'clock, say for instance, until 4 o'clock, steering committee session. And the whole morning straight, uh, both of us have been uh, on a volunteer basis uh, for our service. Uh, Mr. Rogers is serving on President uh, Reagan's Intelligence uh, Review Committee, uh, which has been a particularly uh, challenging task for him, and also uh, serving as Commissioner General of the United States Section uh, with some extraordinarily able backup from Al Beach and others. This time I'd like to call on Joe Rogers uh, to give us an update on what's happening uh, at the United States Pavilion. Good morning. Welcome to Austin. Sorry I hadn't been here in the last uh, Commissioner General, College and Commissioner General, but I did have a, a very uh, critical complication and, and uh, was unable to be here. The United States Pavilion is progressing, uh, I think, very, very good. We're on schedule, we feel. We also feel we're a little under budget, believe it or not, and I would love to be able to, to give our Congress back some money, and it's my uh, it will be my concerted effort through the opening on May 1 to do just that. Uh, I can't say enough about Al Beach, uh, my Deputy Commissioner General, which all of you know, uh, Al is just a real professional uh, individual who I have grown to love during our association over the past year. He's a, a fine uh, representative of the United States government, Al Beach. Uh, as you know, we're having our premier showing of the film. IMAX theater uh, on uh, just on, on Wednesday evening. Uh, we um, had reviewed that five times. I think it will be an exciting uh, movie, and we look forward to having each of you view it. Uh, when is that? Wednesday evening. Seven thirty. Uh, The exhibits will not be complete. Uh, we are right in the middle, of course, of uh, finishing our exhibits. That's the only part of the, the pavilion that I see uh, has, uh, has some pressure uh, placed upon it, and we, uh, we will continue placing that pressure. But it's, it's going to be a beautiful pavilion. We look forward to having each of you as our guests. If I personally can be uh, of help to any of you with uh, VIP tours or anything you would like to have in the pavilion, please contact we would feel uh, we would be honored to help you with anything we can assist you with in the United States today. Thank you very much, Ross. Uh, we have managed to get the U.S. Immigration Service uh, to send a person to Knoxville uh, next Wednesday uh, to handle any remaining uh, 